Okay, today I'm going to explain to you how to read rhythms. So what we're going to use here, this is called a rhythm pyramid, a note pyramid. So it starts off at the top of the pyramid. We call this a whole note. And in most music uh, that you're going to be reading as a beginner, the whole note gets four beats. So when I'm talking about beats, like if you're listening to a song and you find that your foot is tapping uh, to the song, you're tapping the steady beat of the song. It's not necessarily the rhythm of the song, the song might be going da 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 but you're tapping tap, 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 and so that is called the beat. So a whole note would be a note that lasts for four beats, or ba, so it gets, it's one note that lasts for four beats. It's kind of a longer note. So if we take this and we cut it in half, we're going to end up with half notes. A half note, the head of it is open. The stem could be up or it could be down. It's still going to be a half note. So it could look like this. And you'll notice the way that we write these, they look like the letter D as in dog. <laughs> or the letter P as in pop, right? I should do that over here. As in dog or pop. Okay? They look like the letter D or the letter P. Okay, so these, since we cut the whole note in halves, we call this a half note. We had a whole note, we cut it into two, we have halves. So that makes perfect sense. So if we take and we cut four, if we divide that by two, uh, we know that that's going to equal two beats. So a half note is worth two beats a piece. So if our steady beat is here, a half note is going to last for two beats. Ba, ba, ba. So two beats. Okay? Now, we take that, we want to divide those all in half, and we're going to end up with what we call quarter notes. You'll notice, stem up, it still looks like a D, or it could be stem down, and still like the P, right? It doesn't change its rhythmic value. That's normally just done for aesthetics, uh, or to help musicians to read the notes more clearly. So these are called quarter notes. Which makes sense. If we had a pie and we cut it into four different pieces, you ate one piece of the pie, you ate a quarter of the pie. Or with a dollar, we've got four quarters that go into one dollar. Uh, that totally makes sense, right? That's worth one dollar. Quarters. Right, so here's our quarter notes. And we're going to divide that, since we divided our half note in half, we divide two by, uh, we divide that in half, and so we know that that's going to get one beat a piece. So, if our steady beat is here again, this is da, 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 one sound per beat. Quarter notes. All right. Uh, the bottom part of our rhythm triangle that we're going to play with today, we're going to take those, we're going to divide it in half one more time. And we're going to get eight, eight notes. E-I-G-H-T-H, -H, as in the fraction one-eighth. Just like this is the fraction one-fourth, quarter. Right? A fraction one half, right? And a whole. Look there. So okay, this is what eighth notes look like. They could be stem up. We have two of them together. We call these paired eighth notes. At the top of the stem, they have a beam that goes across and connects them. So these are two individual notes but they're beat together. We call that a pair of eighth notes. They're going to get half a beat a piece. So that means we can get two of these on one beat. 
Our steady beat is here. Ta ta. Sorry. I'll try to keep my snaps as a steady beat. Ta ta. So there's two of them on a beat. All right, if I put another one up there, let's put another pair of eighth notes. Nice beat there. Da 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 da. Right? Da 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 da. So two sounds on a beat. Now, they're not always paired. Sometimes they're by themselves, a single eighth note. And so they'll look similar to the quarter note here, but they'll have a flag. And all of these things can be stem up or it could be stem down. The same thing here for these paired eighth notes. We could have done these stem down. They're still going to get the same rhythmic value. And you'll see they still look like the letter P. Stem up still looks like the letter D. Okay? So this is the basics of how, to, how we read rhythm. So if our tempo is here, a whole note gets one sound for four beats. Ba. Half notes get two sound, uh, one sound for two beats. Da. Da. Quarter notes, one sound on a beat. Da, 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 da. And then eighth notes, two sound on a beat. Da, 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 da. Okay? And that's the basics of reading rhythms. Now, everything we just did right here can also be done with rest. So we have rest that are identical to this. So let me show you what they look like. So I'm going to erase our notes and I'm going to replace it with rest now. So first, at the top, we would have a whole rest. This looks like an upside down hat. Okay? I like to think of the hat being full. It's got four beats. It's going to rest for four beats. So if our music, if our tempo of our music or the speed of the music is at this tempo, then that means it will rest for four beats. I'm not going to play anything for four beats. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. Right? So there's not going to be any sound on the play. Okay? For half rest. Half rest, they look like a hat. Not an upside down hat, but just a regular hat. Okay? They always look the same. Where we had stem up and stem down with the notes, we don't do that with rest. Rest, we never flip them like we do in notes. That can be a little bit confusing at first. But once we understand that we never flip rest, then we can figure that out. So a half rest is going to be resting for two beats. So if our tempo is here, we're going to rest for two of them. Rest, 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 right? Quarter, quarter notes. We can make them quarter rest. They look like this, kind of like a Z with a C on the bottom. Okay? And it's, that means uh, we're going to rest for one beat. So, no sound for one beat. Rest, 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 rest. Okay? We also have eighth rest, which means we rest for half of a beat. Right? And you'll typically see these in conjunction with like a quarter note, I mean not a quarter note, well sometimes, but most of the time you'll see them like in conjunction with an eighth note. So you'll rest for like the first half of the beat and on the second half you'll play a note. But this is what they look like. So eighth, they take up uh, one eighth of a whole note, right? Okay, so this is our, we talked about our note and our rest pyramid today. Uh, we see how we're dividing each one and a half each time. 
whole, half, quarter, and eighth. And we could continue to go down. If we divided it again, they would be sixteenth, which are very common. Sixteenth, uh, I, I guess I could just show you really quick. For a sixteenth note, if we uh, divided, let's pretend these were notes again instead of rest. So here we had eighth notes. We divided this in half again. Sixteenth notes means we're going to get like a, they take up a fourth of a beat, so we get four of them on a beat. They're beat together just like an eighth note, except for they're going to have two beams across. Okay, so that covers our 16th notes as well. And the same thing with 16th rest. Uh, I'm trying to remember how they look. What was that? Yeah, they look like that. But that's, uh, we're talking about 8th rest right there. So, uh, just to recap, whole, half, quarter, eighth, and we've got those with rest and with notes. So, when you're looking at the music uh, that I post, now you'll understand how to read those rhythms. We'll see you later.